G'day guys, how you going? Um, I just wanted to do a quick recap video and just um, do the general strategy, some things you want to take note of when you're going into a battle like this. Um, just a few things I want to point out here. Uh, when resistance hero Poe is on the team, his unique ability, if you're not sure what it does, if you critically hit a resistance enemy with um, that has inspired, your buffs get dispelled. Um, where here? Yep, right here. Um, if an enemy critically hits an inspired ally, all buffs are dispelled. So that uh, unique is a problem for a uh, bad batch counter, and it does come to a little bit of a problem in this one. Not uh, to the extent as what bad batch is, but um, it's just something to be aware of because sometimes Malak can lose his taunt, and Ray can do a sudden whirlwind on Revan, which is we don't want that. Um, we want what Tembor to pass the Blast Tech to Revan so he gets all that juicy turn meter. This isn't probably the best Ray combo with Stick Ray in there. Holdo would be a much better choice. It doesn't make it any different usually. Um, more relics on this team would just solidify the effectiveness of it. Um, like definitely Relic 3 Malak could definitely go up to, I don't know, Relic 7, Relic 8 minimum. Relic 9 is, would be great. I'd love to see if he could take a Sudden Whirlwind. Um, when Ray goes ultimate, don't worry, we should be able to take it. In an ideal world, we want to get Ray into damage immunity before she hits um, ultimate. If she, um, so we, if she um, doesn't, that's okay. Um, so just then, if you saw it, Malak uh, critically hit Ray, got rid of it in spite, but also lost his taunt there. So if that happens, we want to put the tank tech onto Malak so he can taunt. Um, and we want to try and get Ray into damage immunity. Um, if Ray does a sudden whirlwind before uh, ultimate, that is not good. We're going to wild lightning here, get into damage immunity. Beautiful. It's what we want. Uh, we want to get the Inspired off because Revan's going to get a lot of turn meter. We don't want to give Ray too much mastery. Give the med pack to Bastila. Get that last Inspired off. Ray's going to go to town in a second here. And bang. Alright, HK didn't live too long. Uh, we might just uh, we might drain here. Alright, sh let's shock. Alright, we're going to get Go to town on Ray here. Double tap. Beautiful. Nice. So that's um, generally how you the battle wants to go. Ray sometimes can get a Sun Whirlwind out there if you're not quick enough. Um, otherwise, oh, there's nice. HK came back to join us. So um, what came in useful there to revive. Um, we're going to get Poe out of here just because he's really annoying. Uh, shock. Oh, this might kill. Yep. <laughs> and shock again. So this was actually a really clean battle. Um, no one died to the well. Uh, the well, sorry. HK did die from the ultimate, but everyone else survived. So you can just see, even though you know ferocity depletes our defense, um, we still survive a ray ultimate. Um, she's relic seven. I only have pretty, I would say, low relics on the um, of my um, Sith Empire team here. We yet and yet we still survived. Um, we get pretty decent banners here. I would say the only annoying thing about what is when he eventually it finishes his job being there. Um, he does a basic and he has to cleanse someone, and it's annoying because we actually want ferocity. We don't want to lose it. So that's going to be the win there. Um, I don't really care if we knock them down because we're not in that competitive sector. So, but like, see, look at that. We had all our five members back. What reviving HK what is a, a coin toss there. It's not always going to happen. Um, oh, Relic 8, Ray. Yeah, so I would say that's a pretty, that was a, that was a good run. Sometimes we can lose a bit more than that. And it's, we're only left with Riven and Bastila. But that's pretty much how the battle goes. If you want more information on it, I'm happy to um, just leave a, a, a question in the comments. I'll uh, come and reply to it as 
as soon as I see it. Um, anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up there. I don't really have much, too much more to say about that. Um, and I'll probably move on from that now that I've kind of explored it. I know what I'm doing with it. Just something for people who maybe don't have Malgus yet. You can definitely use just Darth Revan. It does require what Temple, which is a little bit annoying. But um, it's still possible for maybe those people without Malgus. So, uh, anyways, guys, have a good one, eh? And I'll see you next time.